What's up people this is Vishal and in today's video I'm going to talk about inheritance in JavaScript and this is a concept which is very very commonly asked in front end interviews so pay attention and let's go so I've already written a function over here called person so the person takes uh, two inputs so one is name and one is age and it has its own uh, properties called this dot name and this dot age which to which we are we are just assigning these uh, passed in parameters and uh, later I'm just extending this uh, person function and I'm adding a function called greet inside the prototype chain of the person function and this just returns a, a text right so now we want to extend this person class and uh, use so you should be able to use the name age and this greet function since we are going to inherit the person right so let's see how we will uh, continue with the inheritance of this function so let's create a function called teacher which uh, will be extending the person uh, function over here so what we are going to do is uh, we'll create a function first function teacher and teacher is going to have a name age and uh, a subject right so if you see the similarities between the person uh, function or and the teacher function over here is name and age is common just the teacher is uh, having a, another parameter called subject right so uh, first things first we'll write this dot subject equal to subject all right so what about name and age now so we want to use the properties of the person so name and age is already defined in the person so let's uh, try to utilize that so we'll be using person dot call so i'll be making a separate video on explaining about call bind and apply but for now just understand that the call uh, the first parameter of the call is going to be the scope and by scope means so whatever scope i pass over here that will take the place of this in this in this particular function right so let's say if i pass uh, an empty object then this empty object becomes this into uh, in this person uh, function right so for my case um, i want these name and age to be properties of teacher right so i'll be passing this so this here will be holding the reference of teacher right so when i uh, call when when i call person with the scope this then this will essentially become teacher dot name teacher dot age right so i'll be explaining uh, it further in my future video about uh, call apply and bind that and that time we'll be having a complete clarity but for now just understand this much so apart from uh, the scope we need to also pass the name and age which are the expected parameters of the person right so what this is essentially doing so if i create a object of this particular function it is going to hold the value of name age subject everything okay but uh, according to inheritance i should be able to uh, and basically uh, use the greet function as well right so let's not go into that detail let's uh, just try to try to create a function first uh, let's try to create an object first and uh, uh, try to execute and see what is happening okay so i created a teacher new teacher and uh, this teacher is going to have a name vishal uh age my age and the subject let's say maths okay and all i'm going to do is console dot log on teacher dot name or uh comma teacher dot mm, age and we also want to see whether we are able to call the greet method or not so we will do teacher dot greet okay so let's head on to our browser uh hit a refresh open the console and uh, let's see what what all is printed over here so if you see over here the name and age got printed correctly but we are not able to access the greet method that was there in the person so according to inheritance we should be able to access the greet function as well right so now to access the greet function so what i'm going to do is uh, we are going to extend the teacher 
right so in teacher dot prototype so instead of uh, individually going over each function that i created uh, again and uh, that i created for person uh, again and again which will cause replication in the code i'll just do one thing so we know that we are extending a uh, person right so what i'm going to do is teacher dot prototype equal to object dot create so we'll create a new object which will hold the value of person dot um, prototype right so what we are doing over here is in teacher dot prototype we are setting the properties of person dot prototype right so now we should be able to access our greet function so let's hit a refresh and you can see that i'm able to access the greet function so is our inheritance complete right now so uh, to test that our inheritance whether it is complete or not so i'll just do one more thing so we already have all these things written so i'll just remove this console so uh, i'll write teacher dot constructor dot name right so what this means is uh, teacher dot constructor dot name is basically gonna give me the class name of this particular object okay so uh, what according to our code that the class of this teacher object is teacher right let's see whether we get the same uh, output or not so we go here hit a refresh and you'll see that we are getting person instead of teacher so this is wrong so we should get teacher over here so let's see what how we are getting person first and then we will try to fix this problem so let's uh, just print teacher now i'll just remove the errors from here hit a refresh and if you see this particular object so this is the teacher object where the age is assigned correctly the name is assigned correctly subject is assigned correctly but in the prototype so uh, this the teacher's prototype doesn't have anything so we go into the so next prototype which we created by using object dot create and this is the person's prototype right so the problem over here is so like i told you in my previous videos about function chaining as well so if you have not watched that please check that out as well it's a very good uh, uh, video and uh, you'll learn learn a lot from that as well so so what essentially is happening is when i do teacher dot greet so the first thing that the code does it it checks the direct properties of uh, the teacher object so it doesn't find greet over there so it starts looking into the prototype chain right so in the prototype chain the teacher's prototype doesn't have greet as well right so it continues into the chain and it goes to the prototype chain over here and it executes the greet uh, function which is from the person everything is correct over here but when it comes to teacher dot constructor dot name what happens is teacher dot constructor so it is not a direct property in the object it checks in the prototype there is no direct property in the teacher prototype as well so it goes into the prototype chain and sees that there is a constructor in this area but this constructor is for person hence we are getting teacher dot constructor con teacher dot constructor dot name is equal to person so we need to fix this problem so very easy way to fix it is in the teachers prototype uh, we need to set our uh, constructor key right so what we are going to do is we are going to do teacher dot prototype and in this we will say pro object dot assign so we already have uh, our uh, uh things assigned right so we already have a prototype uh, person prototype assigned over there so we, we don't want to touch that so we will just write teacher dot prototype and we'll add another property to this which is constructor and uh, the constructor for this particular uh, uh, object is going to be teacher right so when once i do this now if i hit a refresh you will see that in the teachers prototype now we have a constructor which is pointing to teacher and in our uh, person's prototype now we have a constructor which is uh, i mean in the prototype chain when we since we have inherited person we have the uh, details of the inherited class as well right so this basically completes my uh, entire inheritance right so we have uh, solved each of these problems so now when i do teacher dot constructor dot name you will see that we have teacher printed over here 
so i am now able to access everything every property of the teacher and while not losing the context of the object the class of the object basically so um this is fine now let's create a object for person as well so i created a object for person and we did uh, person and here i'll just use the name as john whose age is 50 and these are the properties that the person class is ex expecting so now let's put some console logs and check uh, each of these things so uh okay we need to replicate this we'll write here person dot constructor dot name so hit a refresh so so far so good so teacher is uh, correctly pointed person is correctly pointed now we need to see a few things so we will do console dot log on teacher is it an instance of is it an instance of teacher and is it an instance of person these are the two things which i'm going to check for the teacher and we'll check the two things for person as well so uh, instead of teacher we'll write person and person so once i hit a refresh so you'll see that the first two statements teacher is an instance of teacher is returning true teacher is an instance of person it is also returning true but when it comes to person person is an instance of teacher which is false and person is an instance of person that is true so basically this uh, explains that our inheritance has completely worked fine so you must have noticed that the entire inheritance in javascript though javascript is not an object oriented language was possible because of the pro prototype keywords hence the other word for the inheritance in javascript is prototypal inheritance and uh, this is the term that is going to be used in the interviews and uh, people would ask you that what is prototypal inheritance and this is the thing that you are going to explain during that uh, time and in my next video we will uh, try to understand the es6 syntax of inheritance which uses class and extends and uh, try to de dive deep and uh, understand how it is different from this particular example right so if you have any questions uh, about this particular topic you can drop a comment in the comment section and uh, please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for uh, more such uh, interesting concept videos in the future so see you in the next one bye